Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the Blackbird Haversack and the Nighthawk Rucksack. Stay tuned. One of the things that I like to do is I like to scout the property that we own as well as the surrounding areas. Just to keep an eye on things, I check on the creeks in the area to make sure that beavers aren't tearing up the property. Uh, of course, look for signs of coyote, other wild animals, there are bears here in our county. And so I'm always looking for trail sign and things like that. Um, this is a trail, of course, that leads to the cabin. And so we're actually going to go down there and we're going to talk about this rucksack and haversack combination, how you can put them together, what I've got packed in it and uh, what I might be using for just an overnight trip, just for something fun, or to do some scouting in the area. All right, so here we are down at the cabin, and if you've not watched it, this is where we have filmed part of our 1790s survival series. Of course, there are 15 episodes so far online, and we're working on filming episode 16. So let's talk about this haversack and rucksack combination. Blackie Thomas is a very dear friend of mine, and of course, we both had a wonderful mutual friend in Dan Lutz, the old trapper, who has since gone on to be with the Lord. And uh, of course, he brought us together and cemented our friendship, and we've been going strong ever since. But uh, Blackie Thomas has developed the system, and I really like a lot of things about it. I'm not a big fan of backpacks that have a lot of straps and a lot of strings and a lot of pockets. I find that I lose stuff. It's a lot harder to pack, and it just becomes too much. So he's developed a system here that I think is definitely worthy of looking at and thinking about. It's made right here in the USA, all hand put together by people that know what they're doing. And so he sent this to me and he actually gave me uh, the haversack some months ago when Dan Lutz and he and I were together and went out to supper. But uh, anyway, let's get to that, let's talk about it. Now the way this bag is designed, it comes as just the long bag itself. It doesn't come with any backpack straps so that you can put those on yourself. And it's designed so that standard Alice pack straps fit. So you can buy these, you can get them new, you can get them second hand. And there is a ring attachment up here that you can put it through. Anybody that's familiar with this type of attachment system. And then also down here at the bottom, there are some D-rings that you can fasten it to right down here. I'll give you a close-up on that. So this is the D-ring attachment. It's a double D-ring at the bottom. It's very well stitched in. And for guys that have a little broader shoulders, you're going to want to attach it on the sides like this. Some, if they're a narrower shoulder, it'll fit right nicely into the bottom here. And you can use these bottom webbing straps. And it does have webbing across the bottom and down both sides. And that's really nice. But you can fasten these on very easy. And again, the fastening system, if you're familiar with this type of webbing, very easy to put on. It's well stitched through here, uh, very heavily triple stitched to hold it in. Now this is designed as a two-part system. It has the haversack here, which is one part, and then the actual rucksack itself. And this is waterproof canvas, so it's not going to leak on you. You're going to be comfortable carrying this out in the woods in any kind of inclement weather, spring, summer, fall, winter, whatever, it doesn't matter. This is going to do you good. Now to attach the haversack to the backpack, there is a sleeve that runs right across this area here. And you simply undo these D-ring buckles from the one side of the strap, you run it through and back across. And then I did a double loop around here and that forms a handle. Now, the newer Blackbird haversacks, they actually have a handle already attached. This one is Blackie Thomas's original haversack. This is one that he gave me when I was with Dan Lutz, I mentioned earlier. And this right here is just a perfect thing. It's a it's great size. Again, wax canvas. It's got the, the Blackbird logo on it there. It's upside down, but that's what that says. It's Blackbird. And uh, yeah, so this was Blackie's personal haversack. And he gave this to me. And I really appreciate it. Thanks, Blackie, for that. But if you're looking for a good heavy-duty haversack, look no further. This will do the job. I'm going to take these apart, and I'll show you a little bit more about them. Now that I've got the handle undone, the strap, again, you just take it through these D-rings. And 
And once that's out, then it's a simple matter of just pulling this back through this long loop that's sewn in here. You just pull it out. And now we have the haversack. We can take the strap and reattach it through these double D-rings and then we can have a haversack to carry around. Here it is with back together in the D-ring. Fastens exactly like you would fasten the strap on a motorcycle helmet. Inside, we've got a couple of really nice features. First of all, there is a separate pocket in the flap. Zips open and you can store maps or snacks or whatever you want in the top of that. Or as I've got this one, I've just left it empty because I have the rucksack for extra uh, things to carry. Inside the main compartment of the haversack, I carry just a knit cap, stocking cap. Of course, this is great to keep you warm. Uh, one thing they say, if your feet are cold, put a hat on your head. So this is, of course, have to be out and the weather turns a little chilly at night. It's still in the 40s here in the evening. Next, I have my silky saw. Also some toilet essentials, some toilet paper and wipes. Carry a stainless steel water bottle. Some cordage as well as a toggle. Heavy duty garbage bag. Can be used for all kinds of things. There's actually a couple of them there. And then for stiffness, I just have this really inexpensive cutting board. Waterproof, easy to clean, easy to wipe dry. It's better than a wooden cutting board because this doesn't hold moisture throughout the day. So when I'm done using it, cutting potatoes or bacon or whatever it is, um, I can just wipe it off and clean it off good and uh, using one of the alcohol wipes or something that I might carry with me. And then I can just stick this right away back into the, into the haversack. And uh, that also provides a really nice place for putting any kind of material. If I'm trying to start a fire, I want to keep things dry from the ground. This is an absolutely surefire way to do that. It's got a little lip around here, so your shavings and curls and things aren't gonna, they're not gonna get wet and they're not gonna fall off easily. So this is just a handy thing to have, and these are, I don't know, like $3 at Walmart. Now this bag is designed to have a roll top. And there's different ways you could do this. You could roll this together, and Blackie uses a carabiner to snap the two rings together. There are D-rings on the side. You can see that there. What I have done is I have taken and put some buckles just fasten them on here and you can buy these type of buckles these are ITW Nexus buckles and they are made in such a way that they have a split and they're very secure but you just slip them on over top like this they're made to be replacement buckles and they'll move up and down so there's different attachment points stitched together here that I could attach this to depending on how much gear I have in here and how much I want to cinch that down so this is adjustable both here as well as down here and I just find this makes it easier to put in there pull it up tight and then the pack is secure and I've done that on both sides and so that kind of gives it that sort of a almost like a Boy Scout pack look uh, as it's rolled over and then snapped in on the sides there's different ways to do that this was just my solution it doesn't come with any fastening options so you kind of have to do what works for you unbuckling this and we undo the top as you can see, it's pretty long. There's a lot of room in here where you can easily roll this flap down. And uh, again, I really like this super heavy duty waterproof canvas. It's a waxed canvas. And uh, again, made in the USA. So, but inside, I've got my cold handle frying pan. And this is just inside of a, this is a pouch that's made for headphones. So a friend of mine gave this to me, cut a little hole in the back, and it makes a, a perfect frying pan cover. And in here I've got my spoon and some salt and pepper and odds and ends, but it's lightweight, and it keeps uh, debris and, and char off of my uh, pack while I'm carrying it. Of course, in here I've got my fire starting kit, and I teach out of this kit, but it's got pretty much everything. It's basically a complete survival kit in itself, and I can throw this into the haversack, whatever, but... I've told people that if I can't get a fire started with this kit, then I probably shouldn't be out in the woods. The next item that I have in here, this is my sleep system. And in here is my hammock, my hammock straps, as well as my bug net, and pretty much everything that I need. Air mattresses in here, 
um, I can take this out and I can sleep very comfortably in almost all kinds of weather uh, right down to very very cold temperatures this has everything in it that I might need and it's just in an old Cabela's bag but this is where I keep my sleep system at the very bottom I have just an old military wool blanket just stuffed in it's partially folded but this of course is my sleep option to keep me warm along with my sleeping gear that I have for the hammock and then inside of this backpack there's a pocket sewn in and in here is a piece of foam cut off of a military sleeping pad and this is 11 and a half inches wide and 17 inches long that's all it is of course this is a place for me to sit down on it's a kneeling pad also in the hammock if the small of my back uh, gets a little cold I can put this under the underneath me in the hammock to lay on provides a little bit of extra warmth and a, a barrier to that cold air so this is what it looks like when it's all emptied out it's a pretty good size rucksack and of course when you put that pad in the back it gives you a little bit of rigidity sort of like an inner frame but this is a fantastic option for carrying around for your woods running for an overnighter uh, for doing scouting and everything I really like this this is a great rucksack I like the fact that it has a lot of different attachment options you know across the front down both sides across the bottom it's a double row and the pocket inside it's very well thought out and it's it's just tough I mean this thing is made super well so here it is all put back together and with the strap tied for a a double handle here and again remember that the new haversacks do come with a handle but this is what it looks like and of course you could take this off for day hikes leave the rest of it at camp with everything else and uh, just really makes a great modular system if you're interested in getting this set you want to go to downanddirtywoodscraft.com I'll make sure and put a link down in the description box for the Nighthawk itself just the rucksack it's hundred and sixty dollars and two hundred dollars if you buy them together as a set for the Nighthawk and the Blackbird Haversack together and it's free shipping to the lower 48 he does ship internationally so if you want to get one of these you can contact him and of course people say well that might be a little expensive I want to tell you something folks this is handcrafted handmade of quality materials right here in the good old USA everybody wants to buy a rucksack for 30 bucks and then they complain that it's made in some foreign country so why don't you go ahead, if you can afford it, and support some local craftsmen, support some local American workers, and uh, help Blackie. Um, I don't get anything off of this, except he did give me these for uh, a, a personal gift. But he's a great guy. He could really use the help. And subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's got some fantastic uh, options. He, he talks about a lot of things that you can do uh, with cheap gear. People like my videos for that. And uh, you'll like Blackie Thomas. The man's an absolute gentleman and really knows what he's talking about and and uh, I just think that if you go to his channel and start watching him you'll just learn a whole lot in a short amount, of, short amount of time it's just a great rucksack even loaded like this it's not super heavy it's easy to carry it's very comfortable of course you can adjust these straps however you like I do have the sternum strap on mine makes it a little easier to carry but uh, yeah, it's a really good option for you if you want to go out into the backcountry and do some exploring. And you don't want to carry a lot of gear, you just want something simple, you're really into survival and bushcraft. It's a good option, and I think you should check it out. Thanks a lot. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below where you can order this rucksack and haversack from Blackie Thomas. You'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link and this is where you can sign up to take survival and bushcraft classes here at our beautiful training facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos and we'll talk to you next time.